Now, this evening, we're going to be talking about something I was actually saying to my guest that it's it's one of those things that I need. One of my properties uh, actually has an, an issue in this particular department. And I know so many of us, uh, you know, want a solution to this because it also has a way of creeping up on you financially if it is not adequately addressed. We are looking at smart water solutions and how they affect property. We're going to even look at what do we mean by smart water solutions solutions uh, and of course uh, what are some of the ways that you can go about to make sure that you're as efficient when it comes to all things water solutions in your property and to help us get a better understanding of how we can be more efficient and certainly do a better job of this I'm joined by Richard Fion who is CEO and founder at Power Optimal. Richard good evening and thank you so much for joining us on the show. A very good evening to you, ma'am, and uh, thank you for uh, hosting me. And uh, I hope that I can provide some useful insights uh, for the audience this evening. I'm, I'm looking forward to our conversation, Richard. Uh, I know the, the you know one of the, the big things with our conversation. I want us to actually start with when we talk about smart water solutions. What exactly are we talking about? Well, we're, we're talking about solutions that span the entire value chain of hot water and i think i think if i'd like i'd like to take a couple of steps back and you know talk about what what motivated us to become involved in in this particular sector together with our partner electrolux and the primary motivation that that started us on this uh, smart hot water journey was environmental and the vision that we share with Electrolux globally is to, is to be able to build a business that measures and manages a reduced carbon footprint generated from hot water. And with that as the starting point, um, and, and you know, alongside uh, uh, Electrolux and, and their global aspirations for the environment and for their customers, we've brought about a situation where we have a smart hot water system and a smart hot water system by definition is something that allows us to measure, manage and uh, reward, uh, so to say, uh, people that are involved in the utilization of hot water. So that may or may not be uh, uh, an adequate description, but let's take it from this angle. If we look at hot water, the energy cost to generate hot water is about 40 to 50 percent of the total household cost of energy and a smart hot water system allows us to reduce that consistently and significantly i hope that's a a good definition for the uh the audience Mm-mm-mm. and it certainly is i think when we uh I, I like that you even point out richard the cost of you know high water oftentimes whenever we speak to um you know certain experts that we have on the show they'll tell us how how expensive our geyser usage typically tends to be uh, i think it accounts for about 40 percent of your electrical bill comes from the geyser and so if you're able to find alternative ways um of you know whether it's a geyser or even a another uh you know device because we do know that there are other things that you can use instead of we'll say the classical geyser that gets connected to your electrical um you know connection that still is able to provide you with water so the moment you have something like that you do f- you find that people's um, electricity bill does actually significantly um you know look different or lower than those of us who are still fully using our geyser and sometimes don't even switch it off uh, I mean, I know I, I can be very bad with, you know, switching it off manually. And we have seen different innovations where there's the geyser trip that actually, you know, switches it on and off uh, so that you don't have to remember. Because I know I, I tend to forget, you know, sometimes as, as much as I, I, I want to before leaving the house, switch it off and then switch it on when I come back, I, I, it, it slips my mind. And, and I think I sometimes wonder, you know, what my electrical bill will look like if it was a way to, to just be on top of that. And, and I'm sure that's you know, certainly something that uh, people at home would want to get better insight on. I think you wanted to come in there, Richard? Yes. You know, you say switching your geezer on and off to save money. Uh, 
there is absolutely no benefit to doing that whatsoever when we do the physics and the calculations. If you want to save money, the first thing to do with any geyser, a geezer, a standard geezer, a non-smart you know, geezer, is to throw a geezer blanket over it, and that will give you some significant savings. More savings than a human trying to manage it because we think we understand how these things work, but sadly, uh, we don't. And of course, you know, one of the key features of, of the offering that we're bringing to the market, the Elon Smart Water offering, is solar connectivity. Conne that's the ability to connect the smart uh, geyser and you know the, the, the smart section of things to solar panels. And solar PV panels generate electricity. And if we generate electricity using the sun, well, we have a fixed cost to start to do that. And beyond that, we have very, very small costs. And we can do this at scale and we can do it it, it's become more and more cost effective over the years. When we started our journey here, um, the cost of solar panels and the cost of the energy that they deliver it was between seven and eight times what it is today. And the cost of solar PV continues to fall uh, at, at, a, at a very, very high rate and the performance goes up. It's a little bit like the personal computer when I first joined Apple in the mid eighties, it cost you two years pay to buy a computer. And you know now, of course, computers are well nowhere near. In in many instances, if we look at you know a certain part of society, one month's pay. And the the other thing that I think is very important to consider here is we need to make energy accessible to all people. And solar PV as a technology, setting aside hot water for a moment, is the vehicle that will do that. The solar PV revolution has not yet started. And you know, one of the wonderful things is as, as the adoption grows, as happened with computers, the costs will drop, they'll fall. And the difference, of course, with solar PV is that it will create lots and lots of jobs. In Africa, it will be one of the biggest job engines that we have. So you know, the inclusive transition to energy can also include and very much will include you know, solar PV as part of that equation. And the cost of solar PV uh, generation or production when you buy it is a fixed cost. And, we, and, and you know, that fixes a particular cost per kilowatt hour. And from there, we all understand you know, that Eskom will continue to increase prices year on year under normal conditions. And under the current conditions we find Eskom in, it's going to be way ahead of inflation. So the payback just becomes really, really 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 worthwhile you know i often ask people the question why would you why would you hesitate to invest in being your own power station you know from a hot water point of view and when i put the argument to them they'll buy a car and lose lots of money in depreciation and get no return on it and 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 they reticent to spend you know 20 20 odd thousand rand you know which is the cost of a full system uh, to get a return on it of about 400 rand a month from day one, they actually don't have an answer to that question. And there, there are, I think, with the way things are developing uh, in, in South Africa, I think we're going to see the banks come forward and play a much larger role in making the funding available to make these things affordable. Uh, in fact, if we look at the saving that an average you know, three three bedroom house achieves by using solar energy to to heat its hot water in a managed fashion it's between four and five hundred rand a month and that pays for the system so we've reached that tipping point where i think consumers are, are starting to be very very aware of the fact that there's savings to be made and you know for a very small investment that can happen if you are just joining us this evening, I'm in conversation with Richard Fioran, who's a CEO and founder at Power Optimal. We're looking at smart water solutions and how they affect property. You know, Richard, I, I, we are, of course, at home taking your questions and comments. Uh, do tag your friends and family in this conversation. I also just want to find out from you at home some of the water issues that you may have faced uh, in your respective properties and homes and how you went about facing them. Because I think this is one of those things that are, can be very unfortunate because they don't
sometimes stack up. Um, I mean, sometimes even when there's a water leakage in your uh, property, it's not always easy to spot it. And, you know, you could easily rig up a water bill that goes into the thousands of rands uh, because you weren't able to to spot what was happening. I mean, this actually once happened uh, in one of the properties where there was a leak. We were not aware of it. And, you know, a water bill that would have typically been less than a thousand rands um, per month ended up going to over, you know, 15,000 rands for that particular month because water was just continuously coming out and nobody was aware that that is happening. So that's certainly something that we know we want to always be on top of. I can see more of you checking in. Uh, Pauline Nkosa saying voting for solar installation to be affordable. Uh, Sandy Stemmett checking in there on our Facebook page. Um, also saw that uh, we had somebody new, Martha Shingang, also checking in, uh, tagging the, her friends. We've got Bianca Combs also checking in, Shagong Shagong, uh, checking in on our Facebook page. Of course, do you keep the love coming? Send those green hearts and also share your water saving tips uh, and if you've already started using uh, certain smart water uh, solutions or if, because I think many of us have certainly done that for for electricity or see the value but sometimes don't uh, think about it when it also comes to smart water solutions and the importance of also doing that. Now Richard I actually want us to look at uh, some of these structural and even foundational issues from water damage that we could find. I mean, I was saying to you that this is one of those topics that I've had different kinds of water issues in different properties. And so finding various ways to even identify uh, a potential water issue and a way to not only solve it, but mitigate for it, you know, potentially happening in the future is something that is so important uh, for me. Because I think you sometimes don't realize what is missing in your overall system in the house until you're faced with that particular uh, crisis and have to deal with the after effects. So what 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 can be some of the damage that uh, we could potentially see, especially structural or even foundational, when it comes to uh, it being damaged by water? I think let's start at, let's start again at the Giza end of things. And you know, the Giza is an appliance. It's basically an appliance with which we don't have any relationship. It sits in our roof. Uh, it's up there, and as long as it works, it's fine. And the only time we know that it really exists is when it either is cold or it leaks and it causes damage to our, our property and not just our, our, our ceilings and our carpets. You know, it can, it can go a lot further than that. The, the Elon Smart Water Platform is an IoT, an Internet of Things platform at, behind uh, the scenes. And what this does is it allows us to look on a tank by tank basis, you know, a Giza by Giza basis uh, on, on up to many millions of units. And we can start, we can see leaks before they become major leaks. And that is a very, very important aspect for everyone involved, for the banks, for the insurance companies, for the consumers. Uh, you know, th there's a massive amount of, of damage that occurs from uh, hot water leakage and, and hot water uh, systems that rupture and, and things that go wrong in the roof. So you know, managing that and managing that proactively and having pre-alerts for that is a very, very important uh, feature that, that we enable in the Elon Smart Water System. And that in itself, uh, if we look at insurance premiums that we pay uh, on, on householders' cover, uh, between 50 and 70% of the householders' premium is allocated to Giza-related incidents and consequential losses. And you know whether you're a tenant, whether you're a, a landlord, an owner, a property investor, you know, you don't want those things to go wrong. And one of the things that you know, we are able to now do with the system is to uh, allow that to be pre-alerted. So the, the customer will actually be told there's something wrong. It'll go to their mobile phone. It will also, if there's a service provider involved, alert the service provider. So risk mitigation and, 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 and total prevention of damage to property from hot water related, uh, uh, you know, unanticipated incidents is a very, very uh, tight point of focus 
for the solution that we deliver. And that is Richard Fion, who is the CEO and founder at Power Optimal. Wrapping up the Wednesday edition of the Private Property Podcast with myself, Uzamantungwa Kumalo. Well, that's it from the team and I this evening. We'll be back on your screens tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. Until then, hoping you're staying home and staying safe.